bit of light sand, one of those great young electronic composers with his tune, Eternity. And welcome to all of you. Yes, I know it has been a while since we have done a vintage audio listening experience. Some time ago, I, could, I finished restoring the Sony STR7065. Well, let's talk about it. Sony STR line, it was one of the legendary lines of the 1970s and early 1980s. What made it particularly uh, interesting was Sony concentrated much more on the engineering of what went into the unit than the eye appeal of the unit, the eye candy that so marked the era of the 70s uh, through the 80s in audio. The beautiful silver face units with the uh, either blue dolls or green dolls. They really were fantastic looking, but Sony is an organization that never got caught up in that whole eye candy uh, thing. They had very, what I would call conservative, very classy, very ta uh, tasteful face plates. It didn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it whistles on them. But the 7065 here was one of the hallmark uh, units and one of the top end units of the uh, Sony offerings. It was built between 1972 and 1974, manufactured in Japan. A lot of these made their way over uh, out of PXs and commissaries. Military guys would pick these up heavily discounted, and the military would pay to have these shipped back to their uh, home. So quite a few servicemen took advantage of that offering, and one of the things that they liked to send home was the Sony unit 60 watts per channel it doesn't sound like a lot today but that's very clean watts very great uh, sound am fm this thing could drive three sets of speakers a b and c that's pretty good uh, pretty good output all balanced there three sets of speakers so that you could have maybe a set in the uh, kitchen maybe you could have a set in the living room and maybe one set in a bedroom so you got a lot of use out of this unit it retailed for about uh, $550 in, between 1972 and 74. That was a lot of money. These were not cheap units. Equivalent today would be about $1,500 to uh, $2,000. So they were in today's money. Very, very expensive uh, units. But like I say, the build quality was outstanding. They're still going strong today. For my money, pound for pound, ounce for ounce, and it is a 32-pound unit. You're not going to find a better value in vintage audio. These can be still bought between $200 and $400. The caution is, if you're investing in one of these units, obviously they've held their value pretty well, whereas today's black box junk with the uh, blue phosphorus uh, LED readouts and things, is it's almost a joke, the poor build quality. They must well take them directly from the factory right to the uh, landfill. There's nothing to recommend them, okay? This gives you the opportunity to have a thing of beauty that also produces uh, uh, very, very uh, excellent sound quality. Let's take a look at the inside of it now. We can see that uh, we've got a couple, uh, couple things to note here. Uh, I think that you'll enjoy it. Let's come on over and take a look turn on the unit the first thing to notice is the nice clean dial face and if you're going to invest as i said in vintage audio you need to have the cleanest face plates that you can get this is really what the money is this would separate an investable piece of electronic gear from something that uh, is never going to gain in value so it's worth it to try to uh, find great face plates there's about eight or ten of these units in the str line this is a 7065 here as you can see right there inside we have uh, two of the huge filter caps direct coupled output we're here we have some enormous uh, uh output transistors over here it's very clean design if you had to go ahead and service these boards it was designed to remove these control boards or you know doing things like adjusting the uh, uh, bias and all that it was very simple procedure to do that 
it was some of the earlier earliest modulars and by this time in the uh, early 70s the printed circuit boards were in full uh, full use so clean on the inside looks complicated we have a nicely uh, shielded tuner section here we have the uh, am bar on the outside and i have a simple a fm antenna hooked up here uh, but I think that you'll agree it's pretty pretty clean and it's a pretty looking unit So let's go ahead and uh, twirl up the doll here and listen on the AM I'm just using little Bose uh, Bookshelf speakers over here. They're pretty nice. They do a decent job. So let's put this on uh, AM here Let's turn our volume way down so we don't get blown out. We are on AM. It does have the indicator that tells you what it is on we have our uh, input meter here so we can measure our some Democrats in Congress signal the president of political games so we'll the go up the dial here and hear what we get on the AM now we're only using the, the bar on the back here to the economy continues the, uh, AM. Retail sales manufacturing and earnings report turn that up a little bit Got the religious programming. One KFCK. KFCK. So, which, so yeah, so we just did that. We had got burritos and stuff. Um, for the last programming. Food and beverage store sales up by 28% from a year ago. This is uh, KCBS out of San Francisco. Very strong. This has a very good tuner uh, section. With so many of us. Yeah, we know things are bad, right? So what's in it for you? Fisher Investments fees are structured, so we do better. When this is KGO better, out of San Francisco. Clients, rates with loan payments, a major source of income. Congressional stimulus pack. This free for only So it's doing pretty good. It's nice and clean. In the nation, a new kind of coronavirus testing is starting today in New Jersey. This is a saliva test. And get back to normal. They're wrong. Right now. Some of our Spanish language programming up here. Boy, really good episode. He is the actor from The Sopranos. In a couple of minutes, Paul shook it off, got back up one right Our convicted murderers. Also on the list are those convicted This is our local KG, KSRO out of Santa Rosa. The Republican sent a letter asking the acting director of... So it does a pretty good job. All right, let's go over to the F FM. Should have excellent pickup. We now have the input meter and a tuning meter. And the closer you get this one to the center pointing down, the more dialed in your station is. Department of Public Health says when it's time to open businesses and schools, NPR will still need to be followed. Nice and clean. We can see the stereo indicator here. We can see we're also on FM. Very clean on public broadcasting. Classic. The outside the day, suggestions the tour could be held without the Nice full sound. This gives you really rich depth here. A lot of stations. I love these units, these STRs. Play 
The better your antenna, the better the pickup's going to be. Oh, that sounds good. My love. Can't dwindle too long. We got, uh, can't dawdle too long. We got the YouTube uh, music police. Sound clean, I love that. Uh, nice balance. 102.7, the wolf. When a man, Percy Sledge, huh? Three, triple eight, eight two five, five. Dave Ramsey two, show. Two, five. for the virus. Meantime, one resident of the East Bay post mm. Construction projects or need help with emergency. Right, people always ask me, Rosie, if you had to buy you one unit and not chunk out a ton of money for one of these vintage like a Marantz or like a H.H. H. Scott or uh, McIntosh, Fisher, one of the other high-end units, what would you get? Well, combining beauty and performance Anything in the STR line from the early 70s to the early 80s is fantastic. It's bulletproof and it sounds good. Now it's time to do our vintage audio listening experience. So here's how we do our vintage audio listening experience. I have an MP3 player, basically my cell phone acts as an MP3 player, and I'm inputting through the auxiliary jack in the back of the unit. If you have a phono jack, you can run uh, two inputs from tape decks. It's a heck of a unit, this. So what we do is we start out here in the workshop and we finish up on the legendary wall of sound now today's choice in music i don't know about you the times are difficult and one of the uh one of the what would i say genres of music that really cheers me up is hawaiian music and in 1995 96 i was fortunate enough to spend nine months living in the great state of hawaii and one of the musical groups that i really grew to adore was the Makaha Sons of Niihau. Now Niihau is called the Forbidden Island in Hawaii and it's the one that's not open to tours. Uh, you, at least at my time, back in my day it was owned by the Robinson family and they preserved native Hawaiian traditions by limiting, uh, by not allowing visitors. Well the, the Makaha Sons of Niihau were born out of that island and eventually um, became famous all over Hawaii and internationally. One of their storied members who unfortunately passed away was Brother Izzy Kavakabakamoli, who uh, died of complications of diabetes. He was uh, tremendously obese. Many of you remember his uh, song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That was Brother Izzy, a tremendously gifted musician. This is called Drums of the Island. It's probably one of their most favorite, uh, one of their, well, certainly my favorite of their songs, and it's also a crowd pleaser, too. Listen as we go through this experience here. Please pay attention to the dobro solos. You know, they have what's called the slack key guitar in uh, Hawaiian, which makes it very distinctive among uh, musical uh, genres and it makes it very enjoyable so these guys the makaha sons are also legendary in their harmonization and uh, vocals and i think that you will uh, enjoy this song it is called drums of the island uh, when you're on when you're finished the uh, listening experience today please if you care to leave a comment in the comment box below welcoming me back to vintage audio listening experiences and taking time to give a thumbs up, it would be most appreciated. I will be recording inside with the Zoom H1 recorder uh, out here too, and I will be transferring that over to the uh, finished product here, okay? 
Sit back and enjoy the Makaha Sun's rendition of Drums of the Island. Deep blue. 